Hello everybody and welcome back to the DCAC channel where in this series uh, we learn how to solve uh, lead code questions and just inter interview questions uh, on the spot. So let's pick another question. Baseball game. Hmm. Last stone weight. Island perimeter. These all sound pretty interesting. Uh, last stone weight I would say. Let's see how what do we have here? 1046. Last last stone weight. We have a collection of stones. Each stone has a positive integer weight. So we have a list of integers, which are the stones. And each turn we choose the two heaviest stones and smash them together. Suppose the stones have weights x, x and y with x uh, or x was it? x uh, less than equal less or equal than y the result of the smash is if both are equal both of the stones are equally destroyed if they are not equal the stone of uh, weight x or x is actually destroyed and the stone of uh, weight y has new weight of y minus x okay that sounds cool and in each turn we choose the two heaviest stones, right? That's also important to, to kind of see because I am guessing we're going to be doing turns. At the end, there is at most one stone left. Return the weight of this stone. Um, at most because if at the end you have only two stones left and they have the same weight, they will both be destroyed, right? Return the weight of the stone or zero if there are no stones left. All right. Let's have an example. We have this input and of course we have to kind of order it or like sort it. Um, I guess that, that makes the most sense. So we combine the stones uh, 7 and 8. We get 1 and uh, we pack it back as I see because it's a remaining stone, right? Then we combine the other two biggest ones would be that would be the 2 and the 4. We get a 2, pack it back. Then we get the 2 and a 1, we get a 1, pack it back, then we get 1 and a 1, then we get a 0. Um, we basically discard the 0 for now, and then we have a 1, which is the remaining, um, yeah, the, the only element left. So the only element left is also a condition that we will have to kind of think about um, to implement. So, we know that the, the, the length of the list is at most 30 uh, and the least 1. So we know that there's at least one stone there. And what I'm thinking about is that if our if the len of uh, typing bullcrap basically, the len of stones is equal to one, I will just return. Um, what, am I returning? Yeah, I'm just returning the number, not a list. So basically like this else and this is just uh, a measure that um, well in this case it kind of covers an edge case and it also makes sure that in such cases we don't go over any further so our algorithm will break here and it will be a bit faster and we know that the weight of the stones can be at least one and at most one thousand so while the length of this stones list is greater then one, right? Um, smash would be stone. Well, we will sort them, and oh, I guess we'll be sorting each time. Do we have a better way to do it? I guess not, because the remainder has to go somewhere and kind of still has to sort them again. So I guess I guess we are sort sorting every time. Which I don't like, but I guess yeah, we have to work with that. So the sorted stones um, will pick the first, and um, well, actually, how can we do this? We want to sort. Let's let's have it separately. Um, sorted stones. 
would be this and um, a smash would be sorted stones 0 minus sorted stones 1 so the very first two get smashed and um, and actually we don't want to just smash them we want to pop them right and I think that would be something like this and something like this uh, popping one popping twice would do it like this I guess because if you pop an element I'm assuming this would work like this uh, popping something from a list like this right popping the first the zero index would basically remove it and now this is the zero index at least I'm I'm assuming this would be the case uh, we will see so if I would directly have our smash as a, bit, uh, as, a, as a condition so if this is greater than zero and we know it cannot be less than zero because this will always be at least as much as the next one or even greater right um, yeah I, I guess we'll have to have it as a, as a variable um, the smash just to save ourselves some operation if the smash is greater than zero uh, we will have sorted stones would be or basically just stones would be sorted stones appending the smash so why do I uh, pack any, anything back into the stones while uh, where, where I'm already working with sorted stones because basically this is our updated list it has two elements left uh, less and maybe in this case now it will have one more element right and uh, I want to update the original one because every time I loop again I'll be looking at the original one first and uh, yeah I guess this should work like that I mean I think I can actually improve something on uh, when it comes to naming and make it a bit more compact but I, I don't think that's something that we need to care care about right now so um, at the end we want to see because here we will be getting elements like for example imagine we have only two elements here like in, in here this will go in we'll sort those two elements we will take both elements smash them together and if they are the same length we will not be updating anything so we'll be left with a empty yeah empty list and this will no no longer happen so um, the other way around we 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 had two elements we took the two elements like we sorted them we took so we smashed them we have something that is a remainder and we pack it back those are the two cases so in this case we are out of our loop because there will be at least either one or zero elements and I guess we can say return zero if the len of stones is greater is equals to zero uh, else we will say the very first element of the stones and I'm not sure I, I have to think about this again I know something like this works in Python but to be honest with you I had some issues with that uh, syntax um, certain sorted stones of course let's see time limit exceeded hmm so our algorithm has time issues right hmm a few moments later so it sounds a bit complicated but i think at least there is um there is a pythonic way to do this how to do this is basically let's have our stones list we, we are not going to sort and what we're going to do is pop but since we don't know which index is we would be doing 
the index operation of the max operation so basically this will take the max element that's in stones exactly how they say it here it will return me the index of that element and then i can pop it and um, yeah let's do the same thing here so we are popping based on the index and the index is determined based on what's the maximum element after the first one that we took right and then again if after the smash we have uh, something that's greater than zero we append it and we just continue our algorithm just like that so i'm i'm hoping now with sorting out of the way uh, let's see the object that has hmm. I guess that's because after hmm. I wonder now that that looks stupid but uh, <laughs> I guess it, it it gets confused because it doesn't see yeah let me quickly print stones because I'm pretty sure we we, we land here once before and afterwards yeah we land here once and the next time we basically oh um probably this one this is why um we don't need to yeah put anything there so yeah let's see we got our result and uh, we can see the algorithm in action he took the seven and the eight. He made a one, right? We have one more one here. Then he took the two and the four. It made a one out of them. Then he took the two and a one, made a one out of them. And then he took both of those, but he didn't really come back to print them. <laughs> uh, and yeah, at the end, it was left with one. So I will still do the yeah, this part because I like it and I just want to practice it and I think it's uh, it's also yeah, it's it's a good it's a good approach for example return zero if the length of stones is zero else uh, what's in yeah, the remainder and yeah it made our function shorter and I think this is our solution it's a bit confusing here, but yeah, it's it works. And for me personally, I learned that uh, you can do this operation, which is pretty cool. So I don't really need to sort every time I wanna, yeah, I want to do anything uh, that doesn't require sorting all the elements, right? And pretty easy. I guess it's way faster. I will definitely check and see how this index operation how does it perform because it will still have to kind of see kind of find this element right so I'm assuming it will do some search into the um, array or list but anyway something new for me uh, and I hope you guys also learned stuff and I think it's a pretty interesting problem because it's like it's very it is very descriptive and you can actually think about it very mechanically if that makes sense so I hope you try it and um, yeah, if you like uh, this type of content, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel and see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.